What's your idea of heaven? When people are unoccupied, as far as I can make out, they get together and they sing and dance. Nowadays we live in a non-participative culture and we don't do very much singing and dancing. But we watch other people do it on television. How old are you? Almost 12. Almost 12, okay. <laughs> well, when I was your age, I was driving planes and trucks and such. So it's... We've been brought up, you see, in a cultural context in which the universe is presided over by somebody serious. But in our way of looking at things, no. We're deep in the forest now. Is this the pit? Up further. Back, deep down in, there is something that you must respect. With a very, very, you, you mustn't, you mustn't laugh in church. <laughs> Don't you laugh. Why not? Father Almighty, world without end, is a very insecure fellow. So it's difficult for us, because of that cultural heritage, to accept, to accommodate our common sense to the idea that the web might basically be playful. that it might be like somebody saying, won't you come and play with me, a child? Yeah. Press the clutch all the way. That's the one on the left. No, 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 never press this one all the way. This one, all the way. If you can't press it all the way, then we need to move forward. As far as you can go, push, push on that. Now, can you push the one all the way? Is it all the way? Okay, this is a difficult part. You have to release it very slowly. Very slowly. And the other child yeah. uh, has some little hesitation. And when I say you have to press it again all the way, then you press it again all the way. I don't feel like playing today. I feel serious. I don't think play is important. We ought to do something real, like uh, wash the dishes for mother. Don't touch that one. That one's poisonous. I saw a smurf. People get terribly compulsive about doing these things. And they think that uh, going on, <laughs> arranging the patterns of life, is something that's a duty. I'm near us to me. That means the debt that you owe it to yourself or to your family or to someone or other. You're in debt. See, that's the trouble. When a child comes into the world, the parents play an awful game on it. Instead of being honest, they say, we've made such great sacrifices for you. Here we are, we've supported you, we've uh, paid for your education, and you're an ungrateful little bastard. Tiny bit of it. And uh, the child feels terribly guilty because what we do 
is we build into every human being the idea that existence is guilt. If you're not feeling guilty, you're not human. And that was because Papa and Mama said, look at all the trouble you've caused us. You shouldn't dare to exist. You have no rights. But maybe we'll give you some out of the generosity of our hearts so that you'll be permanently indebted to us. It's a very, very bad hint. It's by this. It is true. And so everybody goes around with that sort of thing in their, in their background unless they had different kinds of papas and mamas who didn't play that trick on them. The hint. <laughs> yeah, it should be over here somewhere. But that's not the way to make people grateful. Uh... They won't be grateful that way. They'll imitate gratefulness. You see it? They'll go and put on a big show and say, oh, thank you so much, I feel so indebted to you, and so on and so forth, and they'll make it look good. Genius. <laughs> you also found the one earlier, I think. I only said I think it's there. You found it. Told you. <laughs> but isn't real.